getting ourselves in shape down at Art Prize this year. Yep, shining our spotlight on the Gazelle Girl activities. We have Holly and Kristen here with us. We have less than seven months until we're going to be uh, lacing it up and racing through the streets in downtown Grand Rapids. Why is the Gazelle Girl such an important event? Because it is founded to celebrate Title IX, because we as women get the opportunity now to participate in athletics. Okay, so Kristen, we know your life has all uh, really pretty much been about encouraging people to get out and run. What does running do to an individual and for an individual? You know, I think the exciting thing about running, especially when you think about the Gazelle Girl Half Marathon, an all-women's event, it really encourages to, us to get out there and be a community, a community of women all together accomplishing a goal. And whether that's the 5K, the 10K, or if you're going for that half marathon, it's a great goal. And we've got a whole community of women in West Michigan ready to help you cross that yeah. finish line. Woo! It is really great, you know, and it's easy to start training for that. But the funds that are raised support some terrific organizations that lift up and empower girls and women, starting with Girls on the Run. Yes. yes. <laughs> girls on the Run, we celebrate Girls on the Run, the YWCA, Grand Rapids Opportunities for Women, Bonnie, and the Gazelle Sports Foundation as well. And so if people are interested in getting involved, the sign-up sheets are online. Check it out, a connection at woodtv.com. Welcome back to Daybreak on this Monday morning. What are the unique opportunities that we get as we broadcast through the days of Art Prize here on Daybreak is to highlight the wonderful groups within our community, the nonprofits who are making a difference day in and day out. You'll see it every day here on Daybreak. And this morning, we have the Growth Center Incorporated. Tierra Willis joining us as are everyone here from the Growth Center with their wonderful, colorful signs. Tierra, thank you so much for waking up with us this morning. What is the mission here of the Growth Center? Um, to just do great partnerships without, within our community and just to make sure we're bridging the gap um, for things that the community needs, whether it's um, going abroad in missions or whether it's locally. Okay, and this is a, a Christ-centered, Christ-driven mission here for the Growth Center here in West Michigan. And maybe not so much of the brick and mortar as it is of you guys getting out into the community. Yeah, um, basically, we're just doing our best to fill those gaps um, in personal communication, different needs that the community may need. Um, we do it through different partnerships. Um, one of the organizations that we partner with is actually one I founded called Dorcas Community Fellowship. Um, and so through different projects throughout the year, we make sure that we do our best to actually aid our community. And you've been with the Growth uh, Center here for about 10 years. Yeah. What is uh, a project that you guys are working on right now? Yeah, um, we actually have the event coming up this upcoming Friday called Manifest Worship, where all over the community, different worship leaders are getting together, um, along with different pastors and teachers in the church, um, to just deliver a message of word and worship, um, to deliver hope to our community. Um, in that project, your mission fee is hats, socks, gloves, um, school supplies, prescription glasses um, for a mission trip that will be going on in February to Belize. Um, just different things like that. So overall, that's one of our main focuses right now and personal need items and toiletries for families. And real quickly, if I want to go or want to attend or can't attend and just want to donate, how do I do that? Um, yeah, you can either just show up at New Hope Baptist Church at 6.30 p.m. Um, this upcoming Friday, or you can even go to the Growth Center Inc.'s website um, and then right there, you'll be able to connect to our organization and submit either money or actually come to our address at 3337 Craft and actually deliver the goods. Wonderful. Tierra Willis at Growth Center Incorporated, thank you so much for spreading this message with our community.